Tannery Industries Botswana is one company that's taken the bull by the horns on this opportunity and has seen a steady increase in sales as a result. The TIB was set up to take advantage of the raw material uh, available in Botswana as a function of the large uh, beef industry uh, with the idea of converting that raw material into finished leather for the regional market. Um, this was an exercise that's, that was taken about by uh, two uh, entrepreneurs, local entrepreneurs together with uh, what is known here as the Cedar Venture Capital Fund uh, to establish the business. The company exports its skins to South African manufacturers. These end up becoming shoes, um, couches, furniture couches. A lot of the material that you see even with the hair on go into Ottomans, for instance. Um, we are starting to look at uh, other opportunities as well, i.e. the automotive industry. Um, so those are the three predominant areas of where our product ends up in. Despite the country's small population of just under 2 million, labour seems to be one of the attractions of operating in Botswana. Labour is, is available um, and ag again I must stress it's, 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 uh, it's well qualified labour which needs to be trained. Um, but it means that it's easier to train uh, because most people here have been to school. Um, um, we don't have a very unionized uh, uh, workforce in, in this country, which some people might say is good, some people might say it's bad, but I think from our side it makes it easier to, uh, or it's, it's the workforce then is less militant, I would say, which makes it easier, of course, to establish good labor relationships with your, with your, with your staff. Botswana's manufacturing sector has been highlighted as one of the areas that will be least affected by the global crisis. All sectors will suffer, but I think probably manufacturing less, less than most, because m much manufacturing is based on uh, less cyclical industries like food processing um, and clothing and textiles. I mean, the, the, everything's negatively affected, as I say, but th those sort of core consumer goods are, are not being affected nearly as much as mining and construction and, and capital equipment and automobiles. So uh, I think that the Botswana manufacturing sector will, in relative terms, probably get away. Um, uh, more lightly than other sectors. The country's textile industry has also benefited from the AGOA trade agreements. One of the, the sectors that we have uh, put a lot of concentration is uh, our manufacturing sector. Uh, with uh, particular attention we are looking at taking advantage of the various agreements that we've got with uh, other countries. For instance, if you look at AGOA, which is the African Growth Opportunity Act of the US, where they are looking at giving special uh, attention to goods that are coming out of Africa uh, to enter the U.S. market. And I think they've got about 6,500 product lines. Uh, we have largely managed um, to, to penetrate that through textiles and, 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 and so forth. And um, that has been a success. And I think currently we are looking at about, um, I stand under correction, but we're looking at a double digit in terms of percentage of uh, our manufacturing sector. Just 20 minutes outside Khabaroni is a small town called Ramotswa. And when it's the rainy season, it tends to get a little flooded. And it's to this small town, virtually in the middle of nowhere, that Chin Shi Huang comes all the way from Melbourne, Australia every holiday. She comes here to help her dad in his textile factory called Fascinating Botswana. Right. He said he came in Botswana at 1999 and he's operating, he's working for a Taiwanese company and that Taiwanese company has employed him as a factory manager. And because of the manager and he knows the policy of the Botswana and he knows there is a policy called FAP and he decided to open a new company by himself. So he started 1999 operating his own company and it's called Fascinating Botswana and started in 2001, 2001 we started operating. 
Mm. Because of the Botswana FAP policy, we have got a lot of assistance from the Botswana government and they have provided with us the training fees and also the machine fees and etc. Initially, Fascinating Botswana supplied goods to Europe and the US, but now only suppliers to major South African retail chains. Uh, what was Edgas, Fashini, Gazette? Safety is a major plus point for Botswana as its neighbor South Africa struggles with high crime rates. But there are other reasons why Botswana is an attractive investment destination. Safety and security, political stability, very um, secure investments. Botswana uh, might be landlocked, but uh, you should be looking at Botswana as a gateway into broader Africa. We have linkages with at least four countries. I'm, I'm sure you know Namibia, South Africa, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Zambia, and so forth. So we are really right there smack in the middle. And we, we really, in the literal sense, are a gateway into, into broader Africa. 